it's time the infamous here and I have a lot to like say in the beginning of this tutorial but I'm gonna make it quick because I know you guys want to get to this awesome red look I got a few questions on the jeans that I wore um, a few days ago and I posted it on my Facebook and my Twitter and people were asking me about them and I just wanted to show you guys them they're like distressed and torn and everything they're also bleached they have um, the pyramid details in different areas and also on the butt here they're also high waist vintage jeans so they come up pretty high as you guys can see so I just wanted to share these with you guys because I actually make these and I'm going to be selling these and this is just the beginning there's going to be all types of designs and everything and I'm going to be able to have different colors so they're going to be pink, purple, red and everything so just go ahead and look out for that I've been working on that as well I wanted to tell you guys that I am one of the three newest Bitch Lap Cosmetics promoters and I'm so excited. My item should be here soon and I'm going to be able to share a ton of new looks with you guys. And I'm specifically a promoter for BitchSlapLash.com which is a new addition to Bitch Lap Cosmetics. They're awesome lashes, huge feather lashes, fantasy lashes, natural lashes. So you guys go ahead and head over there and check out that site as well. Okay you guys, so to get started, of course you want to use your base. I'm using Max Paint Stick in pure white. You get such a lot of this, okay? You get a grip. And these are only 20 bucks. But with your discount, of course, you know, your pro discount, they're so much cheaper. So we're just going to put that all over. I've already done my brows. If you guys need help on brows or you would like to do your brows like mine, I'm going to post the link for you now because I have a tutorial for that. So we're just going to put this all over. And sometimes it takes me a long time to do this when I do them separately. So there's that. Now we're using Crystal Avalanche as our highlight. If you're a deeper complexion, try Motif um, by MAC. That is gorgeous, gorgeous highlight. But I want this really, really bright tonight. So I'm going to use Crystal Avalanche. You guys can always use something more toned down. And I'm using my Sonia Kashuk packing brush. I love this brush. Next, we're taking Pink Bronze, this beautiful, beautiful pigment. This is one of my favorite pigments as well. And we're putting that on the inner corner. We're packing it on our brush like this. Because you know I like it a lot. Okay, so we just packed this. Now let me tell you guys something real quick. Anyone who's trying to get this paint stick base, it does crease at first because it is such a moisturized product. Because personally, I don't think this was meant to be used as an eyeshadow base. More of for body work. So when that happens, you just get a little more on your finger and just go over it. Now we're taking our 224 fluffy brush by MAC and basic red pigment by MAC as well. This is my new favorite pigment because it's so effortless it gives you looks like this without doing any work okay. It's a basic matte red. The great thing about this one is that The great thing about this one is that it is like hot pink and it's red. So at first, if you put it on, you guys can see it's a hot pink. And I'm just blending this out with light, light strokes because it's so pigmented. 
it blends so easily you can easily get out of control with this color so we're starting at the top first we want just a nice wash of this color and then we're going to go in again and continue to build in the crease so if you're an intense person like me this right here is like crack, crack for the makeup artist. Now we're going to take our flat brush and get into that red and pack on this color to our lid. Then you'll see how it's more red down here than a pink because I'm packing it on. Now we're going in with carbon a jet matte black and if you guys don't want to go as intense sketch would be a beautiful one to put in the crease and the outside so I'm getting that carbon and we're going to go into the crease wait I need some more red not putting a lot in the crease because we want to keep that red color really pretty Okay, so there's the top, and on the bottom, we're just going to use Smolder Icol by MAC. And I put a grip under here, too. I just put a grip of everything. Now we just finish off with some gel liner. This is Black Track by MAC. You guys tell me what you think about the Hip by L'Oreal gel liner and the, is it Maybelline? No. I don't know what the other one is, but, or Revlon, I don't know. But tell me what you guys think about the other gel liners because I'm just scared that it's not gonna be as good, you know? And then I hate, shopping at regular stores for makeup and then it doesn't work then you have to go back and then you have to stand in the customer service line i'm like seriously so stay as thin as possible as you can with the black so that the red really shows through and then we're just going to go ahead and put on our lashes these are the ones from the Nicki Minaj um, fly video lashes. I forget which ones these are, but if you really, really want to see which they are, you can just go ahead and check out that video. And I'm going to put on my lashes and I'll be right back. Actually, I'm going to show you guys um, how to put them on because it's just going to take a second. So I already have one layer of glue on here. I do two layers, you guys. That's the key. Now here's the second layer. You put it on top you don't put it in the back of the lash see so we let that dry until it gets dark gray and you guys if someone is doing your eyelashes and they're blowing on them no that is so unsanitary that is not okay okay so if you see them doing that say no you're not supposed to be doing that and I want a new pair of lashes because, you know, people get, like, bacterial infections and stuff like that. You never can be too safe, especially when it's your eyes or face. So it's dark gray. And I just look straight into my mirror. I put my tweezers in the center. And I kind of... Oh, wait. First, let's put on some mascara. 
I just use Maybelline's Big Lash. And you want to put on your mascara first because um, it just really blends your fake and your real lashes really well. And it um, kind of lowers the chances of you messing up your lashes after they're on, you know what I mean? So you don't have to worry about them coming off when you're putting on mascara. So that's that. And then you just stick them on starting in the middle. Hold it for a second. And then do the inside. Hold it for a second. And then the outside. Then I just reinforce them with my fingers. And voila! They are on. Okay, you guys, and look, we're done. That was so simple, wasn't it? And it looks like a very intense eye, but that pigment is amazing. Now, that is a pro pigment, so you will need to be a pro member at MAC if you want to get that on the online site, MacPro.com. Makeup artist, you guys get 40% off all MAC products and have um, the option of shopping on the online site. Just go to MacPro.com and you can sign up there. You just need, um, even if you do makeup for a photographer, makeup for a strip club, makeup for your friends, you know, on a professional level, makeup for anybody, even for yourself. If you're a good makeup artist, you just send in the paperwork and you just need um, a letterhead if you don't have like a check stub or you just send in your cosmetology license and you'll get, um, you know, the 40% off. So anyway, yeah, so um, if you do not have a Mac Pro card, you can just walk into a Mac Pro store. They're in New York, Vegas, LA, I don't know where else. But um, that's about it for my lips. I of course have on St. Germain with the little Oyster Girl. Um, I have on NC40, found um, NC40 Studio Fix for Mac with the C4 foundation and under my eyes I did the the Dame Edna Beauty Powder and Spectacle and I contoured with NW45 for MAC really did it just hit my ear like that and I did a light pink blush by MAC I don't know where it went and that's about it you guys so um make sure that you enter my makeup contest it's still going on until november 15th and i have some awesome prizes i'm giving away this lipstick as well some um sally hansen nail effect strips um i'm giving away this mac lip gloss and spring bean I'm giving away this MAC eyeshadow in Electric Eel and some other stuff. So go ahead and thumbs this video up if you guys like these looks, um, kind of the intense smoky looks. If you guys have any questions, leave them below and I'll answer them below and I'll see you next time.